Welcome to Sports Banner. This is Bryce, and today we are doing New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestling Don Taku predictions. And now, yes, I know what you're thinking. This is a new format for Sports Banner. We've got a face cam now and screen recording. So, yeah, we're going to try this out. You know, put it down below if you like the new format. If not, we'll go back to the still image. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to go through each match who wins, who gets pinned, and who's getting the pin. So, without further ado, match one, we have Master Wado, Tiger Mask, Hiroshi Tenzan, and Toru Yano versus Dick Togo, Taiji Shimori, Yujiro Takahashi, and Evil. Now, for this match, I'm going to predict that... Let's go... Hmm, this is tough. No, I think Yano pins Dick Togo. Easy. I mean, they've been feuding... They had their KOPW match, which Yano won, and I think that nothing's going to be the same. Yano's still going to get the upper hand and pull out the victory. So now, scrolling down to match two, we have Sho, Yo, and Kazuchika Okada versus Yoshinobu Kanamaru, El Desperado, and Minoru Suzuki. And I think this is going to be an exciting match. I don't remember seeing Kazuchika Okada this tour. This might be his first appearance, or unless I haven't been paying too much attention. But in terms of the match, I think I'm going to predict that Yo scores a pinfall over Yoshinobu Kanemaru. I know, kind of bold, but I think it's bound to happen. Unless Kazuchika Okada pins Suzuki, which I don't see happening. So I'm going for Sho, or no, Yo pins Yoshinobu Kanemaru. In the third match, we have LIJ versus the United Empire. Bushi, Sanada, Naito, and Takagi Shingo, Shingo Takagi, versus Jeff Cobb, Aaron Hanare, Great Okan, and Will Ospreay. This is this is a little bit of a tough one, but I'm gonna go with Jeff Cobb pins Bushi. That's how it's always been for the past Road to Wrestling Dontaku. It's been Jeff Cobb hitting the Tour of the Islands and defeating Bushi. And especially given that Jeff Cobb is set to face off against Kota Ibushi. Soon, I think they're going to build up Jeff Cobb, and what better way than by, you know, scoring the pinfall in this match. And now here's where things get interesting on night one. The fourth match, 60 limit, time limit, the rights to challenge for the IWGP Tag Team Championships. Zack Sabre Jr. goes one-on-one with Tangaloa, and I think it's kind of obvious Sabre Jr. is going to win. There is no way that you need Tangaloa to win and there is no way that Zack Sabre Jr. will never challenge for the IWGP Tag Team Championships. You can't do that. I mean, Dangerous Techers have been one of the most entertaining bits in New Japan Tag Team history for the past year, ever since the pandemic. And they've really brought some life to this tag team division. So if if Tangaloa wins, there's going to be a huge problem. It's going to be a disaster. So, therefore... Zack Sabre Jr. gets the win. The next match is the Iron Finger from Hell ladder match. Not a fan. I get the, the significance of the Iron Fingers, but that doesn't excuse that this match is kind of stupid. Taichi goes against Tamatonga. And this is, I don't know, because I heard that the winner of the match gets the fingers, but then they get retired. So it's ridiculous. I, I'm going with Tai Chi. Tai Chi's going to score the win. Gets the Iron Fingers back. Whatever. I, I hope this match is exciting. Because there, there's not much going for it in my eyes. Besides the fact that it's the second ladder match in New Japan pro wrestling history. Outside of Kenny Omega versus Michael Elgin. So yeah. I'm going to go with Tai Chi being the second winner of a ladder match. And for the main event, the most exciting match on the card, the one that's had a pretty bad build, it's Hiroshi Tanahashi going against Jay White for the Never Openweight Championship. Now, the build's been bad because this is Jay White's first match on the tour. Jay White hasn't been on the road to shows. He's been replaced by Gato. And I get you want to give Jay White a rest, but really, it really just doesn't help with the build. I mean, this match is great on its own, yes, but... The fact that it hasn't had a build, I'm not too excited about this match. Either way, 
I think Hiroshi Tanahashi is going to retain. Now, I'm a huge Jay White fan. I enjoy Jay White. I think he's awesome. But the fact of the matter is, is that Hiroshi Tanahashi, I feel like he's going to have a longer reign with the Never Openweight Championship. Not to mention that I think he's going to walk into Yokohama Stadium or even the Tokyo Dome still holding the Never Openweight Championship and having a, a huge match with some other heel. Maybe it's Jeff Cobb. Maybe it's the Great Okan. Those are two examples of just great matches that Hiroshi Tanahashi could have. I, I don't see Jay White winning this immediately. I mean, who knows? Jay White could win, and we could have a rematch at Yokohama Stadium or the Tokyo Dome. But my heart is telling me that Hiroshi Tanahashi is going to come out the victor, and that's what I'm going to go with. Moving on to night two. We have Doki, Zack Sabre Jr., and Taichi versus Jado, Tangaloa, and Tama Tonga for the 18th millionth time. We have seen this match so many times that it's getting old. I'm going with Tangaloa pinning Doki for the win in this matchup. Second match, Sho and Kazuchika Okada versus Minoru Suzuki and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. I, I'm going to say Sho pins Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Yeah. Third match, Bushin Sanada and Tetsuya Naito versus Jeff Cobb, Aaron Hanare, and Great Okan. Whew. I'd want to go with something different. I really do. Well, I will. Aaron Hanare pins Bushi. That, that's enough said. Aaron Hanare needs to be built up after losing a singles match to Sanada, and I think Aaron Hanare can make a statement night two of wrestling on Taku by pinning Bushi. Not Sonata, but Bushi. I know, it's not that much of a step up, but it's something. Match four, we have Master Wado, Ryusuke Takuchi, Hiroshi Tenzan, Toru Yano, and Hiroshi Tanahashi versus the Bullet Club team of Dick Togo, Taiji Shimori, Yujiro Takahashi, Evil, and Switchblade J. White. Whew. Let's go Evil pins Hiroshi Tenzan. Kind of out of the blue, but I don't know if they're really going to go with a Yano win again. Just I'm just being honest. So I think there's going to be some kind of angle that comes out of this match, but in terms of the victor, which is what we're focused on for these preview tag matches, Evil pins Tenzan. Now going on to the fifth match, and it's the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. El Desperado going against Yo. And I think there is no way Desperado loses. It's his first defense of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. And it was really a surprising win for El Desperado to win the triple threat. To win the Junior Heavyweight Championship against ELP and Bushi. But I think Desperado can go on, you know, sort of a surprising run. Will he make it to Wrestle Kingdom as the Junior Heavyweight Champion? I don't think so, but... I think that Desperado is set for a longer reign than really expected. So I think Desperado uses Yo as a stepping stone and really uses that match to build up his credibility as a champion by pinning Yo. And now for the main event, the real show, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. You have Will Ospreay defending for his first time against Shingo Takaki. And man... This has to be another match of the year candidate because every time these two face off in the ring, it is something special. So it's going to be the third match. And guess what? I'm not going for the upset. I think Will Ospreay is going to retain. And as all the, I love Shingo's awesome. He is great in that ring. But the fact of the matter is, is that Will Ospreay is on another level. I know. I know. I used his promo. Whatever. But seriously, Will Ospreay is pushed to the moon. He defeated God in Kota Ibushi. So I think that kind of, you can't have him lose to Shingo in the first match. Also, you have this feud that's just like built itself, you know, that's culminating in the Tokyo Dome at Wrestling Grand Slam when you have Kazuchika Okada versus Will Ospreay. I mean, that's a blood feud. I mean, these two, that was a Wrestle Kingdom match this past Wrestle Kingdom. You have to have that match again. Although, you know, Shingo Takagi winning would create a great main event 
in the Tokyo Dome, a rematch from the New Japan Cup's round one match in which Takagi won. But I think that Osprey has to win this match. And there's less of a chance that Shingo wins than Osprey. I think Osprey has a better chance of winning. And quite frankly, that's what's going to happen without, but you know, that's not going to happen. It's going to happen, but it won't happen without being a kick ass match. So that is all for New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestling Dontaku events. Overall, I think it's going to be better than New Japan's recent events, like Hatsuna no Kuni. It, it wasn't that bad of a show, but it also wasn't that exciting, to be honest. But I think that this show will be more captivating, and hopefully New Japan in Japan goes in the right direction, because as you know from recent news, New Japan Pro Wrestling of America is booming. John Moxley's appearing on Strong. Moxley versus Yuji Nagata's on AEW Dynamite. And like the American scene of New Japan Pro Wrestling is booming. And it's I love it. They're doing everything right. So I hope that Japan catches on and does things a little better how they're doing it in Japan. But that all remains to be seen. Guys, guys and ladies, if you enjoyed this video, Give it a like, share it with all your friends, and until next time, sayonara.